If the Monster High fandom could gather ourselves together now that we're adults, and if we could create a Monster High convention. Kind of like BronyCon, but instead it's Monster High themed. Hey everybody, welcome back to my world, where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And you know I'm excited this week. And you wonder why she's sitting at that funny angle? It's because I got this box here. And about six months ago, I did something really crazy. I bought somebody's inbox Monster High collection. <laughs> Apparently their daughter didn't want the dolls anymore, which I think probably the daughter may regret someday. Uh, and mom wanted space and money. And so she was selling the collection. This isn't the collection. This is the tiny box. There is a gigantic box in that other room. And I want to do that as a live stream, but because I want to talk more about the Monster High big announcement of the return of Monster High, I decided I would open the small box. Now, the funny thing is, is I don't really know entirely what was in the collection. I believe it was 52 dolls. Some items were things that like, like didn't make it to uh, massive retail stores, so I don't have some of them. Those items are more like, um, uh, there's like a plush that I never knew about, um, and I saw that in, in the listing, but not everything was pictured in the listing. And so I did this thing where I was like, I'm gonna surprise myself, and I'm gonna buy this person's collection. 52 items in total. Monster High inbox. Why would you do that, Melissa? You have all the Monster High dolls. Well, uh, technically I don't think I had every Monster High doll because I am missing the first two San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Um, like I don't have Scara and Who Dude. I still don't have Dead Fast Ghoulia. Um, there were dolls towards the end, like in the reboot that I didn't buy. And then a lot of the dolls that were not super like important to me. Um, I let Caden do whatever he wanted with them. He customized some of them. There's like a whole bin of just like half naked Monster High dolls that, um, that were Caden's. And the one thing that I regret, although it's not a huge regret, but we were not in a position financially, even when we started our channel, especially when we started our channel, we had no money. Um, to buy one doll, take it out of the box and keep another one in box. Like a lot of collectors did and do for, for dolls. So like when I look at Claudina Nine's collection, I'm just like drooling. And what happened was she did her collection video. I was drooling, I was depressed. Um, I was missing, I was kind of like sad that some of my favorite dolls were just in such horrible condition. Because if you remember, if you were around when the videos with Caden were still public, we talked a lot about that, like, like Caden plays with the dolls. These, we don't just keep the dolls in a box. They're meant to be played with. So they're in some rough shape. So, and I was like, look, I was like, oh yes. Oh my gosh. So one night I saw this listing on eBay and I did the thing. I bought them. I bought somebody else's collection. And I got it at a really good price. It was a little bit less than $2,000, which is a steal, a steal for $52, okay? So we're just gonna open this small box here while we talk a little bit about this announcement. So first of all, so the toy book, a lot of you have now become familiar with the toy book. The toy book is primarily an industry, a toy industry publication. And uh, James Zahn, James the Rockfather Zahn, who wrote uh, most of the articles about the Monster High stuff that you guys saw online, he is um, a friend of mine uh, that I met through working for the, the, the toy book, The Toy Insider, Sweet Sweet. They're all the same company, Adventure Publishing. And I ripped him a new one. I was like, how could you not tell me about this? I was like, how could you know this and not tell me? He's like, this was one of the hardest secrets to keep ever. This one and the other one was My Little Pony, G5. He's like, to have those two pieces of news in advance and not tell anyone was killing him so but I did rip him a new one anyway and um so but it's been really really cool so what we know is that at the end of this year we are getting oh my god oh my god I'm so glad my mind's all jacked up <gasps> oh okay wait I have to put the box down oh my god oh my god okay this is funny okay so um this is 
the jewelry box coffin. This was one of the first, when their beds came out, do you remember when the Monster High beds came out? We had a bunk bed for Claudine. We had the procedure table slash mirror bed for Frankie. And we had the jewelry box coffin for Draculaura. Oh my gosh. And what's funny is I still have the coffin somewhere, but it doesn't work very well. And I love, this is one of my all time favorite. Um, so dead tired Draculaura is one of my all time favorite sleep dolls. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. And what I'm really excited about is that I can open it because <clears throat> there's two of them. Now I can have one in box and one out of box. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we're gonna open this during the video. You know, I turned on the heater in here because it was like damp in here and now I'm like having a hot flash and you're like, well take off your really cool sweatshirt that says, I teach love, um, but I can't because I'm wearing my brace underneath it. Oh, okay, we'll have to think about it. We'll have to look, so this box looks dustier. This box looks a little more, I don't know. They both look pretty dusty. She was she was honest that they'd like, they've been in storage, they've been displayed, the boxes were not perfect. I'm like, I don't care, sweetie. Um, this light blue sweatshirt makes me look like I have a giant body and a teeny tiny head. By the way, other really cool news when we're talking about I Teach Love, did you see the potato head announcement? I think it got obscured by the Monster High news and also the, the My Little Pony G5 news. Also, we heard that there's gonna, that brats are coming back. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff happening, but potato head is no longer Mr. Potato Head. The Mr. is gone from Potato Head and you can now create potatoes any way you want. There's the first set is going to be that you're able to create your own potato family. Whatever you want your potato family to look like. I think that is awesome, 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 awesome. We have gender neutralized the potatoes and now you can make them however you want them to be. Another thing, that was in the uh, Mattel presentation. There's an image of the dolls and it says, wait, let me look this up. I'm wearing red glasses um, for my Gulgulia. So in one of the presentations, it wasn't the investor presentation, it was a different presentation. There is a picture and it says, we know the power of dolls is what this picture says. And I just lost it again. Um, and in the picture that says, we know the power of dolls, is sort of what looks like maybe it's their lineup. What I found interesting in this is that there are, and I'm gonna insert this picture, Creatable World. There are two Creatable World dolls in the background of this picture. There's also an Enchantimals, which they, there's two Enchantimals, which they're just not letting go in that. And of course there's Barbies. Um, and, and then they inserted uh, Frankie and Draculaura in this picture. So I'm wondering if Creatable World is not dead. And that would be really, 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 really awesome. So if you're not following the toy book on Instagram, you really should, because that's where you're gonna get all, it's all industry news, but it's all about toys. So you'll get stuff about toys, like all of the announcements about toys. But if you wanna keep up with the Monster High news, the Bratz news, the Potato Head news, the My Little Pony G5 news, any, any news having whatsoever to do with toys, um, you're gonna wanna be following at the toy book on Instagram, and I'm not just saying that because they're my friends. I'm saying that because they get the news. That's what they do. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so later this year, Mattel will launch high-end collector dolls based on the original Monster High lineup. So let's talk about that while we find out what else is in here. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <gasps> we never had this. We never had this. The Create a Monster Color Me Creepy. Caden and I never had this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have no recollection of owning this. I'm going to have to ask him, but I really don't think we had this. Oh, this is cool. I mean, I'm going to keep it in the box, but unless Caden's like, mine, uh, which might happen because he really did like the Create a Monsters. Um, Wow, that was the original, I think that was the, no, is that a wig? I can't tell. Do you remember um, when we made Iris? Remember Iris? I, everybody's like, where's Iris? I forgot to bring her downstairs. But when we do the live stream, when we do the live stream where I open the giant box, we are totally getting Iris out. Okay, and there's one more thing in this box 
One more thing, and I'm so excited that I'm gonna have this in box. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes! There you go. This is a little smashed. Um, what was this? Was the, yeah, this is the Student Disembodied Council, and the box is like totally smashed. Um, like they weren't packed super well, and, and also the big box got, it was put on my front step, this giant box, and I don't have like an overhang over my front step in a rainstorm. I freaked out. I ran outside because I realized it was there. It got dropped off really early. And I very quickly, so I sort of know what's in that box, but I sort of don't remember because it was six months ago. I had took everything out of the box and laid it all over the floor in the dining room to make sure that nothing got damaged from being wet. So in the student disembodied council, we, and this is the only place that we ever had Gilda Gold Stag, right? And we've got Scara, we've got Claudine, Claudine, geez, I always used to do that. Cleo, Laguna, and of course, my beau Slow Mo. Now, I'm wondering who is coming back? So let's open up one of the Draculaura uh, coffin jewelry boxes. This one's kind of ripped, so I'm gonna do this one. This was absolutely one of my favorite play sets, honestly. So let's talk about this a little bit. Now, wait, first I need to take a sip of my, I know it's disgusting, there's lipstick on my, my mug, I know. Mm. Makes my son crazy. Um, okay, so, oh my God, I'm so glad, and I'm gonna, uh, okay, so, Notice the announcement said, <clears throat> later this year, Mattel will launch high-end collector dolls based on the original Monster High lineup. Now, in all of the articles and in the press release and everything, they only mention, by name, the only ghouls they mention are Claudine, which they put her first, um, Frankie and Draculaura. And I'm wondering if that means that the collector dolls are Claudine, Frankie, and Draculaura. I'm okay with whatever we get. Also, there was um, somewhere in one of the uh, in in one of the uh, announcements, like one of the the calls, they also talked about like they had success with the the monster, um, you know, like like Pennywise and the Grady twins, and they were really really happy about that. So yay to everyone who bought like three of each of those. <laughs> Way to go us, right? Um, to make sure it's like, yes, we want this. Do more. Do anything with Monster High. So that was a good move. All of us who bought that stuff. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Um, and uh, I think maybe they're going to do more of that. I'm not sure. And okay, I ha I'm sorry. The hot flesh is so bad. You are going to have to see my, my back brace. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. I apologize, but it's like, I'm drinking tea. I turned the heater off, but it's too late. And um, so now, now I look like a blacksmith. Um, okay, let's pull it down. Eh, eh. But if I wanna sit up, I gotta wear my back brace. That's just the deal. That's just the deal. Um, like I could sit on a couch without my back brace, um, you know but who the heck wants to see me sitting on a couch looking like Jabba the Hutt trying to review dolls? Although it may come to that someday. We don't know, right? Okay, so 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 we don't know. Like, is it just those three ghouls or or is it is it are there other people involved? By other people, I mean Cleo Denial, Gulia, and Laguna. And by other people, let's be honest, I mean Gulia. <laughs> like, I love you, Cleo. Laguna, I was always like, yeah, she's nice, but honestly, like, not, it's not a requirement for me, and I know I just offended a whole bunch, like, look, we all have our faves, um, but, like, I need Gulia. we need Gulia. I don't, don't give me some Monica decay, all right, do not, do not give me a Monica and tell me we have a zombie, all right, okay, now I'm even too hot for the brace, oh my god, welcome to menopause, guys, whew, ha, whew, I'm wearing a Barbie t-shirt while doing a Monster High video because all of my Monster High clothes basically disintegrated. And I try to find them, like, you can't even get them on Etsy anymore. Um, I did find on Poshmark, like, a girl's size 14, 16 shirt. Um, and it's definitely one that Caden used to have. And 
I'm, I'm, you know, I'm delusional, but I'm going to try and fit into a girl's size 14, 16 shirt because I'm afraid like the new merch will have the new art and it just won't be the same. Oh my gosh. So, mm. so anyway, uh, I am recording, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, I need Gulia and, and they also talked about, <laughs> let me find some other notes here. Oh, and they're doing this with Nickelodeon. Also, there's going to be a live action movie musical. Now, one of the other quotes that they said uh, that was really interesting was, these classic monsters have always captured kids' imaginations and we are so excited and proud to welcome Monster High to our brand for a new generation of kids. This is the president of Nickelodeon. Um, where is the thing? Okay, so the manager, Fred Sully, general manager of Mattel Television said, Monster High's strong message of inclusivity is more relevant than ever. Nickelodeon shares our passion for the brand and its purpose, having worked on the franchise when it first launched. Um, we could not be more excited. This property has always deeply resonated with fans and our reimagination of the franchise will focus on addressing important themes of identity and empowerment for kids today. So I think that we can let go of the veiled references to people's sexual orientation, Claudine, and actually like really and truly have LGBT characters um, I really hope that when we're talking about inclusivity, we are also talking about, um, like Monster High was one of the few franchises that I felt that gave autistic people any kind of representation in Gulia. And I don't want to see that go away. I, I don't want them to, um, to not do that somehow. Okay, so now I need to pay attention to instructions. There are instructions. One moment, please. Oh my God, it's like all yellowed. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, those are the French instructions. Okay, so blah, 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 uh, blah, blah. And then put blah, blah on top of blah, blah. Wait, am I supposed to take this off? Why would I take this off? No. Um, if door detaches, oh, please reattach. Okay, uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to detach. So I'm just supposed to line this up and snappy, snappy. That's, that's it. My husband did this for us when we got the original one, so. Okay, and now, yes! Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, Ta-da! This was one of the coolest things ever. So, and then inside in here, there's a little, eh, I just broke it. I broke it. Mm, I, I already broke something. I'm so, I'm so profesh. Um, Eh. there's a little it's like a little and we lost this like immediately it's like a little end table so she can put like her stuff on it and then it folds and it goes back in it is so cute there is a i don't it's not i don't think it ever worked right i don't think this was ever a light that worked no there's like i guess a chandelier in here but it never did anything now Honestly and truly, we all know who had the coolest bed, even though I just said she's not one of my like necessary characters, was Laguna had the hydration station and that was so stinking cool. Come on, that thing was awesome. It was loud, but it was really cool. Look at how pretty this is. It's got all the decoration on it. I mean, doesn't this just look like it would be Draculaura's little coffin? And then what's really cute is then the top opens up and this is the part where it's a jewelry box. So you as a kid or an adult could use this as your jewelry box and also as Draculaura's coffin. I mean, you know, it's up to you. It comes with a little, a little blanket and then, <clears throat> Let me do her little her little side table to put her cup of blood. Oh my gosh, I forgot that we had all of these little adorable like like these were gone in seconds. <laughs> Just like that. Um yeah. People with shaky hands and tiny accessories, it's just not a good combination. Um for eight-year-olds. <laughs> Can you believe that Caden was eight? Like, well, he was like six-ish 
when we first started, I guess this is her spoon or is this a pen? I don't know what this is. I don't remember. Look at how tiny this is. Like the, I'm gonna put it in here as if it's a spoon. It might be a pen. Maybe it's a pen. I'm just gonna lay it down. Um, let's see. Oh, that's right. She's somewhere in here. She's also got like a diary she's writing in. Is that folded into my, yes, yes, here it is. It is a pen. It is a pen because of course she's got her journal because remember they all write their journals. By the way, I do have the journal of every doll we ever opened. They're in a, and so that was her pen. They are in a, a photo album. If you're wondering how to preserve them, if you do become a collector of the original dolls and you get the journals and you're like, what am I supposed to do with these? They fit really nicely into a four by six photo album like the four by six photos. You're like, photos, four by six. Yes, we used to print out photographs. In Yes, we used to print them. I know, arcane. We used to send them off to a place to be printed. We didn't even print them at home. We sent them somewhere. We didn't even go to the Walgreens um, with, with a card and stick it into something. Uh, we didn't even just go online to walgreens.com and upload them and then go pick them up at the store. Uh, we used to have places called Photomat, which was just this little building in the middle of a parking lot. And all it did was develop film. Film? Film. We used to take pictures and not know right away how they looked. We used to take pictures and if you were like, like, you know, like a normal person, you would have a roll of film in a camera and that roll of film might be in that camera for like a whole year because like you were poor. So you only took like a picture for each kid's birthday. And <laughs> um, I'm afraid to take her because I know they're gonna look horrible. Um, yeah, and so then like after like taking a year's worth of pictures, you would, you would drop that roll of film, put it in an envelope, drop it off at the photo mat, go back a couple days later and pick it up and find out it was like, who was blinking, everybody had red eye. If you were using a flash, everybody had red eye. You're like, red, red eye, red eye, did they have pink eye? No. See, flashes, especially the flash, especially on people who had light eyes. So my entire family looked like demons in every freaking picture. Um, and when Caden was little, he looked like a demon in every freaking picture, even though he had brown eyes, but they were like a lighter hazily color when he was little. And I learned, the first thing I learned how to do in Photoshop, get rid of red eyes. Um, look at her cute little slippers. Oh my gosh, this polka dot, this was like my favorite, my favorite. Now I do need to take these out, but I know it's gonna look hideous. Mm. All right, so in an ideal world, these will sort of poof out a little bit. Look at her. Look at her! She's so cute! Oh, I love her so much. And the polka dots, see, I'm a sucker for polka dots. And look, there's lace on the sleeves. There's lace over here. There's lace over here. There's lace on the bottom of her pajamas. See, this is the kind of quality we used to get. We used to get just little touches like that. Let me, now these, I gotta tell you, the bedroom slippers, the, they never stayed on the dolls. Never, never, never. So I'm gonna try and like mash her feet into her little, um, uh, okay, who remembers the name of her pet? I was gonna say it, I was gonna say it, but now I'm not gonna say it. I can't even get her feet in these. Come on, get your feet in there, girl. Come on, come on, work it, girl, work it. Why can I not get her feet? Let me put the glasses on. Um, so uh, what was another thing that, so uh, we don't know who we're getting. So they're gonna do a live action movie musical as well. So there's gonna be an animated series on Nickelodeon and I cannot get these on. This is gonna make me crazy. And there's going to be a live action movie musical. Now, I have always been a little suspect of uh, movie musical adaptations of anything animated. See, any Disney movie. Like I can't get her slippers on. <sighs> Um, so let's just pretend she's wearing her cute slippers, but we're gonna put them by the side of the bed because I can't get them on. This is gonna make me crazy when Caden wakes up. I'm gonna be like, put these on the doll. <laughs> they can't be do this without you. But anyway, she's adorable. She's adorable. She's so adorable. Oh, I love her so much. Um, and then she has a little blanket. Here's her little blanket. So we're gonna put her in here and we're gonna sit her up 
You need to sit up for me? Of course I'm going to sit up for you, Miss Melissa. I don't have to call you mommy anymore because people know that your name is Melissa. That's right. People know that my name is Melissa. And sometimes your accent becomes a little bit Hispanic when I do this. Yes, sometimes you think I am Latina, but I am not. I am from, I am from Pennsylvania. I don't think that's where she's really from. <laughs> Pennsylvania? I don't know. Oh, look at how cute she is. Come on. I'm like shaking. Look at how cute she is. I love it. I love it so much. This is just one of the best play sets. I can't believe I have two of them. I have one in box and one. So yes, yeah, so there's going to be a live action movie musical. There is going to be an animated series. There's going to be an entire line of consumer products. So that means we're going to get merch. It means we're going to get clothes. Possibly we will get bedding again, which I'm really excited about. They need to make it in a full size um, so I can put it on my full size bed. <laughs> because, because I have the, um, my favorite comforter right now is my Happy Places uh, comforter. Uh, Yes, Happy Places from Shopkins. But the company that makes, they're in New Jersey, the company that made the bedding for Happy Places, I mean, they make really great stuff. And it is like the softest, most comfortable, most wonderful blanket in the world. So um, I really need them to be the people that get the contract for Monster High. I should go talk to them. Um, and uh, so we're gonna get all of that again. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping for representation. I'm hoping that, now when I talked to the marketing people at Toy Fair a few years ago. Um, well, we didn't have Toy Fair this year. It wasn't last year. It was the year before that because Caden was there and Caden cornered um, the vice president of marketing uh, and had a very long talk with him about Monster High, uh, showed him uh, some uh, artwork suggestions and it was one of my proudest moments ever. And then later on, Isaac came over to me and was like, hey, I had some time to talk to Caden. I was like, yeah, I saw that. And I was kind of like, oh gosh. And he was so nice. He's like, he showed me his artwork. He's really talented. He's really, really talented. He's like, when he's ready, you know, let us know over at Mattel. And I was just like, oh my God. Um, but uh, but we did we did talk and I talked to people who were on the doll team uh, on the marketing side and they they said like we know we know where we went wrong with the reboot you know we listened to the wrong people and we didn't listen to the most important people and those were the kids and the kids didn't want those um, vanilla cutesied up uh, reboot dolls they wanted what they wanted. They wanted Monster High to be Monster High. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged by the fact that Mattel did that research and knew that. And I'm encouraged by the message of uh, that we know that this generation, that what's important is inclusivity and diversity. And that makes me really, really happy. I'm also going to be using this as a jewelry box um, with Draculaurus sitting in it like this. I'm not gonna put it down. Now, by the way, just so you know, so you can close the top. Draculaura can um, take her stuff and put it in here with her so you don't lose it. Who sleeps with this stuff? You do. Ugh. All right, we're gonna lay her down. Good night. Good night, ghouls. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite because there are literally thousands of them. I'm gonna put it like that. We're gonna go like this. I mean, it was never, you know, believe me, it was never smooth. There you go. There it is. It's Draculaura's coffin jewelry box. And it is one of the best play sets ever. Although the hydration station was pretty freaking awesome. So um, yeah, so this is just a tiny little taste of the surprises that we have in store. I want to do the big box as a live stream because I think it'll be fun to share my excitement when I don't know what the heck is in the box. Um, Cause as I said, I laid it all out on the floor but I really didn't look through it. And then I just, once the box was dry, I asked Bill to put it all back in the box and bring the box down here. Then we put the box up on a riser to make sure that in case our washing machine overflowed that all of that work that I, you know, didn't. Um, so it's, it's in a place that I can't reach and it's so big that I can't lift it on my own. Like, I don't know how I got it off the front porch. That was one of those moments where like, if your kid is stuck under a truck as a mother, you can like lift the truck. This was similar. 
um, in that a box of 50 Monster High dolls were was in the rain and I needed to get it out of the rain. So I had the strength of, of, a, of a mother with a kid under a truck. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about the reboot. I'm like about the G5 ponies. I'm like this and Caden informed me that I just need to get over it and and not hang on to the past and be open to new possibilities. So, uh, okay, I will be. And I do like that one of the main ponies is is male. I do like that. Um, and I'm hoping to see diversity and inclusion there. I'm like this about brats because I've always been like kind of like this about brats. I actually liked the reboot of the brats. Um, I thought they were really cute. We still have Princess Pombles from Creative Brats. Um, but I was, but Bratz was never my, my like, like thing. I liked my scene better. Um, I liked Monster High better. So, but I will probably buy all of them because, um, kind of after the fact, I'm like, you know, like, oh, they could be really cool. So if they look cool, I'll get them. If they don't look cool, I might still get them just to share with you guys. Um, cause I do that with a lot of dolls. Um, but I don't know. So, and the G5 ponies, I don't really do ponies here on the channel. Um, so only if I fall in love with them, will I really uh, do anything with the ponies, but it depends, it depends. Ponies was like Caden's thing. So um, I don't know, I don't know. But the Monster High, oh, you can bet we're gonna be talking a lot about Monster High. I am so excited, so excited. So I will uh, post on Instagram ahead of time to let you know, guys. let you guys know when I'm gonna do the live stream. Um, I'll try to do it at a time that people in Europe, people on the East Coast and people on the West Coast could all conceivably be there. Um, and, uh, but I am just so excited. Um, you could tell like my live stream from when I got the news, I was like exploding. I was like losing my mind. Um, so there's just so much to be excited about coming towards the end of 2021 and into 2022. And I'm just really excited. And you know what I think would be really, really cool if the Monster High fandom could gather ourselves together now that we're adults and if we could create a Monster High convention, kind of like BronyCon, but instead it's Monster High themed. If anybody wants to work with me on that, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in. I cannot wait to go back to conventions. I cannot wait till 2022 and I can go to Supernatural convention. I miss conventions, I miss trade shows, I miss, I miss cons, I miss, I miss everything. I miss people, places, I miss nouns. I miss everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see what goes on in the comments and I will see you guys real soon. Love you so much. Bye.